Bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk from Oilers Nation. How are you today? I'm sweaty and hot. It's only eight <laughs> fifty in the morning. Yeah, I know. I left this morning. I was like, "Oh, she's gonna be a hot one." I don't have AC in my house, and not not a lot of not a lot of our windows open in our house either. It's older, so there's a little stuffy. But oh well, I'll deal with it. I like it. It's better in the winter. Well, it's interesting to be like, yeah. Well, that's the question I asked on my podcast. Better late than never. Is would you rather do plus thirty or minus thirty? And the answers were incredibly split down the middle. For yeah, me, it's not even close. Oh, I take plus 30 all day. Every Without day. question. Yes. I could drink a beer outside at 11 o'clock at it, if I want to. It's right an now. excuse to drink beer. Like, what else exactly. do you need? Uh, the, exactly. <laughs> the Oilers GM search continues. Jeff Jackson still says he doesn't want it. Who, do you think he is going to take it anyways, or who should be the GM? It's going to be fascinating because, like you said, Jeff Jackson says he doesn't want it, but at the same time, he there is it. a lot. <laughs> he's, he's doing a great job in the spot. So, like, Come on, man. Do you really want to be doing CEO things when you could be making trades and making deals? Like, yeah. why don't you pass that off to somebody else? That sounds boring compared to being the GM. Keith Gretzky's name always comes up, too. Do you think he has a chance? Keith Gretzky, it seems like he's got a chance because he's been within the organization as an assistant general manager forever. You know, he's been yeah. in that spot. He held the interim position as GM when uh, Peter Shirelli left. He ended up cleaning up a bunch of that mess. So, going to be interesting there haven't really been a whole lot of candidates announced by the oilers but you know there's some interesting names that are out there that probably are going to surface like stan bowman the guy from chicago which i personally would rather they just avoid who needs yeah, that noise i don't want that uh, no me neither so his name has been out there uh mark hunter from the london knights has been out there um you know we've heard sean horkoff he's a the, i think yeah. he's the president of player development in detroit his name has kind of been out there a little bit so We'll see what happens, but ultimately, I think, like you said, Grant, a lot of people just would prefer if Jeff Jackson sticks in the gig. I mean, like, so far, he's done a great job of it. Did you know that uh, NHL players can go to fighting school with George LaRock? <laughs> I did not know that until recently when I saw the videos of him training or doing uppercut training with Matt Rempe, yeah. which, by the way, looked devastating and scary. <laughs> Well, the thing about Matt Rempe is, too, he fights every game. I don't know if I've seen him win. <laughs> He's always got a black eye or, you know. He, he is one of those guys who he takes it and bruises like a peach, doesn't he? But, yeah. man, like watching him do that uppercut training with George LaRocca and just seeing how big he is next to George, it goes, I wouldn't want to fight that guy. I saw George LaRock tweeted that. He was at the Silent Ice Arena in uh, Niskew. And he goes, yeah, it's NHL fighting school. I'm like, that's a thing? <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> I, I feel like they should be able to loop the rest of us in there, kind of like a pros versus Joes situation where I, we get to go in there and fight some NHL players. I would love it. I would I would play some bets on that. Um, Oilers Nation, the other last thing I wanted to get to, Oilers Nation uh, golf tournament. Is it sold out? Not yet, actually. So that's coming up on August 30th at Millwood Golf Club, and it's one of the greatest days of the year, in my opinion. We're mm -hmm. doing it on the Friday leading into the long weekend. So there's, you've got a green light to get just a little bit silly and come out and have some fun with us on the links and raise some money for charity, which is the most important part of it. But nationgear.ca, you can sign up as a team for four, or you can just sign up as a single, or if there's two of you, you can sign up as two singles and we'll match you together with some other random internet friends and we'll have a blast. It's a great day. We're going to have a bunch of vendors. We're going to have every hole is going to have something going on on it. So it's a great tournament. If you haven't played in it, highly recommend it. We're raising some money for Gregor's Grads, which is a great cause as well. I uh, I was I did it a couple years ago. We had to go like out of the city though, so it's nice that now it's in Mill Woods. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. we used to do it way out of the city, and like by the time you got your round of golf in, and you know you had the dinner in because we get the, we offer a dinner yeah. afterward. It was a it was a full day by the time you got back into the city. But being out at Mill Woods is great. Their their course is in great shape, and uh, they put on a good show for it. I just remember because uh, we all met at the pint beforehand. Had some beverages, then loaded up on a bus to go out there. And by the time the bus got there, we were all running off to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. It's nice to avoid that, too. So, nationgear.ca for that. Bagged milk from Oilers Nation. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, fellas.